By the end of this video, you will not only just know how to use countif and countiface formulas, but also you'll learn all possible ways in which you can use them. They are simplified version of summif and summiface formulas. I also have link to the workbook used in this video under the description if you want to download and follow along. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to get updates on upcoming videos. Countif function can be used when you want to find number of cells that meet certain criteria. Let us use some sales information for this demo purpose. As you see here, this data has a bunch of columns, sales date, region, item that was sold and sales revenue. Let's say if you want to find how many times region East appears in this list. You can do that by simply going to the cell, type equal to and type count if formula. It has only two arguments. The first one is range. Range is nothing but the list of items where we want to search. Here as we want to search east in this column. So all these values comes under region range so select this cell and hit ctrl shift down arrow to select all the items and hit comma and now the criteria so as we want to find the occurrence of east here so i simply select this cell and close parenthesis hit enter it says that east appears five times in this list. This is one way of using criteria in this formula like putting the value criteria in a cell and referencing that in the formula. You can also do absolute criteria for example go here count if open parenthesis and select the same range come on. Now instead of selecting the cell I simply go to formula bar and type list. Hit enter. That also gives same results. I would usually prefer to use cell rather than absolute value. It is just for easy to see how things are working here. Count function usually supports only number, but count if supports all types of data. It supports text, number, as well as date. Let's find how many times number 500 appears in the sales column so use equal to count if range I select control shift down arrow so when you use this control shift down arrow it ends until the first blank appears as it encountered some blank it got stopped there so you have to hit one more time comma the criteria I use is 500 cell and close parenthesis hit enter now it shows that 500 appeared three times you can do same thing for dates as well so just type same formula count if range as this date range and as you want to find this 7 30 19 select the cell and close parenthesis hit enter it shows that there is only one occurrence of July 30th, 2019 in this list. By default, countif formula always try to find exact match and count the occurrences of those. As we seen here, here we try to find number 500 in this list. But what if we want to find number of occurrences where the value is less than 500 or greater than or not equal to. So basically we can use all types of conditions here for example if you want to find number of occurrences where the value is less than 500 you simply go to the cell and use less than and hit enter so now it gave that there are six occurrences where we have number is less than 500 similarly we can use greater than where we have value more than 500 and not equal to 
where the value is not equal to 500. This conditional operators also works for dates as well. So if you want to find occurrences where date is less than July 30, 2019, simply go to the cell and type less than and enter. One more feature of this form loss is you can use wild cards. For example, if you want to find the number of occurrences where region name starts with E, you can simply use E and asterisk as a wild card. This simply finds all the occurrences where region name starts with E. Formula doesn't change, the same formula, you just use count if and range. Come on, the criteria. Here we have two types of wild card. One is asterisk, one is a question mark. If you don't know how many characters you are trying to use wild card for, then it's recommended to use asterisk. But if you know exactly how many characters you are going, you are looking for, then you can use question mark. For example, if you want to find count of occurrences where region name starts with E but it has only two letters in its name. So if we use this one, count if, so it says that we have two occurrences where region name has only two letters and it starts with E. Here is the interesting part. If you look at this region names, so one of them is itself has the question mark in it. What if you want to find regions where region name which has wild cards in it? In that case, you just simply use tilde in front of the wild card. So it takes wild card as part of text. It doesn't act as real wild card. So when I use e tilde question mark. It gives me only one because I have only one occurrence where reason name is equals to E and question mark. Let's jump into countifs. Countif supports only one criteria, but if you want to apply multiple criteria, that's when countifs is useful. Of course, countifs supports one criteria itself. In that case. You don't even have to use countif at all. You can always use countif as. For example, if you want to find number of occurrences where region name is east and items sold were pencil. In that case, use countif as formula, open parenthesis, and we first use first criteria. So here the first criteria is east in the region. So criteria range is region and criteria is east. Come on. Now we use second criteria range which is pencil nothing but uh, item list. Come on. Pencil. Hit enter. It gives there are only two places where we match this criteria. If you have more than to criteria you can still use the same formula you just have to add more criteria to that formula itself let's try to find number of occurrences where reason is east item is pencil and sales are equals to 500 so I simply copy this formula from above cell Sales, so I add the range, come on, and third criteria, enter. So it says that we have only one occurrence where it meets all these three criteria. All things we have discussed for countif also applicable for countif, which are conditions and wild cards. There are a couple of items I would like to mention to note here. Countif function returns incorrect results when you use it to match strings that are longer than 255 characters 
the paints we have any criteria that has more than 255 characters then it may not give correct results and count if also ignores upper and lower case in text strings so for example here if i type capital e a s t i still get the same results because it doesn't care whether this upper case or lower case that's all I have for this count if and count if as formula i hope you learned it and if you have any questions please don't forget to put them in comment section if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe and enable those notifications to get updates on future videos thank you for watching